Shiloh Sanders sent a message to the defense and it was very loud and very clear. It's always refreshing to hear, you know, my man speak, you know, to the defense in that leadership role. Obviously, he doesn't get lost in the shuffle with us, but obviously that game against TCU, a lot of people might not even know that Shiloh was, was doing big things himself, you know, in his own right. Uh, he contributed to a victory, you know, as well. And we're going to get all into it. But he's already speaking and getting the team ready. You know, there was no coaches there. It was just him speaking with the football team, letting them know that it was just one game. You know, and like I said, the more and more we get to Saturday, the more and more I realize, you know, that, that game on um, – the game last Saturday, that was just one game. You know, what What else? What's next? You know, and that's always going to be the question, you know, with the Colorado Buffaloes. Uh, we all know what my, my man Shiloh was doing um, as safety. He's 23 years old. You know, he is going to get headlines as well. He's a Sanders. You know, obviously Shador being the quarterback is just – you know, crazy, you know, in his, in his own right. But Shiloh, uh, shout out to him. You know, he came over from Jackson State. He got his degree, you know, so can nobody tell him nothing. You know, he is swack. Uh, and now he got some unfinished business with his father. You know, uh, pardon me, Shiloh Sanders had a great game. You know, um, he had 10 tackles, nine of which were by himself to tie with CU linebacker Marvin Ham the second for the team in game high. So you clearly see already that Shiloh is out here making a name for himself in his own right, breaking records, doing his thing. You know, um, Shiloh's position is, is kind of crazy, you know, and he slipped because his brother, Shador Sanders, wanted to throw for over 500 and 10 yards, you know, I mean, four touchdowns, no intos. I mean, I, I, that's crazy, you know, um, but he's a formidable player, you know, in Shiloh, um, in his own right. You know, he's got the pedigree from Coach Proud and Deion Sanders. He's instilled that, you know, in all of them, you know, including his daughter. You know, uh, they all are out to just prove that they're the best, you know, and I want to applaud Coach Proud for giving them this, that thought process and that mindset to go out there and do it. You know, because it's easy to say, it, but it's hard to go out there and do it. And that's what's happening right now with uh, Shiloh Sanders, him preaching to the team, be elite. You know, um, make sure you subscribe. Like I said, we're going to be bringing an array of content um, for the Sanders family. You know, obviously the big game against Nebraska, everybody's getting ready. We're getting closer and closer. You know, we got Thursday night football on the horizon. There's a lot of things percolating, you know, um, in the NFL um, situation. Um, but nonetheless, a lot of people ain't even discussing that because you got the situation with Coach Proud and Deion Sanders. You know, and when you got that you got this title that Colorado was born. A lot of people got to get lost in the shuffle, you know, uh, period. Some of your big schools, that's why, I, you know, you, you heard a lot of beef, you know, coming towards Coach Prime because these coaches knew what it was about with Deion Sanders. He's dangerous. You know, I know why they view him as dangerous because they, he can out-recruit her. You know, and that's something that they um, never, never really dealt with. And that's very crazy to them, you know, and, and I'm pretty sure they see in the future. And if they don't try to get rid of Coach Prime, you know, that they're going to be in for a tough situation because the next guy who obviously is nobody like Coach Prime, but somebody who wants to duplicate the performance, you know, they clearly have the blueprint, you know. So um, it's all about what, you're gonna, what they're going to do with it. You know, uh, we're going to be here to document it all here at Flight Sports. You know, um, this is like I said, it's just crazy. I'm just very excited for for Shiloh. You know, him doing his thing. You know, um, 
is is crazy. I know he's looking to play um, an even bigger role down the stretch, despite not receiving the same level of attention. You know, and I don't think that's a problem for him because, like I said, his brother should do it. He shine, he shine. You know, so that's how y'all look at it. You know, um, he was a uh, like I said, a former um, safety at South Carolina, Shiloh. Um, Sanders, he was named Under Armour All-American in high school, transferred to Jackson State to play for his father prior to the 2021 season at JSU. He tallied 59 tackles, 12 pass deflections, 5 interceptions, and 2 forced fumbles in 20 games and 15 starts. So um, this guy didn't cheat nothing. You know, and when your father is... Uh, Deion Sanders, how could you? And you seen it firsthand. You know, um, get, I'm, like I said, I want to give major props to Shallow, you know, to being able to be professional. And, and like I said, we in the social media age, you know, but Coach Proud clearly is raising them a little bit different than your traditional youth. You know, um, they not don't seem like they trip about the things that most most of the youth do today. You know, I don't know if it's because obviously the upbringing, you know, because they did grow up different than most of the people that they're hanging with, you know, that's on the team and things of that nature. Everybody don't have Coach Prime, Deion Sanders is their father, you know. Uh, so you can only imagine the game that he's giving to the world right now. You know, everybody's gravitating to him. Could you imagine what it was like being in the house with him? You know, under his roof, you know, could you imagine some of the games, some of the tutelage? And I think that's why we see greatness personified in all of the kids, not just Shador, you know, because obviously Shador is the superstar. We just got to call it how we see it. You know, Shador Sanders is box office. And none of them have came to the point where they've got to that point. Now, we could say this, we could say that. You know, but bottom line is he is a starting quarterback and that changes everything. You know, you know what it is with the quarterback, you know, so I definitely I definitely like what I'm seeing with CU. I think the sky's the limit. I think they got major success on the horizon. We're going to be bringing an array of content. Let's get in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on Shiloh, uh, all of the things that he does well, some of the things that he needs to improve on in order to get to the promised land. You know, we all know the promised land. He has goals just like every other player on this roster. You know, his name might not be the biggest, but clearly you see he has the game, you know, um, and here at Flight Sports, we can't wait to see it. We're going to be going live this Saturday. Make sure you pull up Colorado versus Nebraska, bright and early, bright and early. It's Flight Sports TV.